Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today we have a haul. Uh, a couple of haul videos will be going up today. I have uh, my Studio Calico document um, kit to share. I also have my hip kit came in the mail. Um, this is actually going to be um, a technology or electronic um, type of haul. Wow. Come on, Amazon. They they sent me this huge behind box for just this little bitty. <laughs> this little bitty box. So, um, I went ahead and purchased the... Well, I didn't purchase. My husband um, purchased me the um, Sprocket Plus by HP. Um, I do have an iPhone, um, an iPad. So, that's why I went ahead and purchased this one because I have an app that's on my phone that pretty much um, goes with this one. The one that I um, picked for him to purchase for me was the Rose Gold um, Sprocket. My my iPhone is also Rose Gold. You can tell my iWatch is Rose Gold. So that's pretty much the trending color that I'm going for. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. Now I've seen so many uh, YouTube videos for the original um, Sprocket. I know that Amy Tan uses the Sprocket for her um, Traveler's Journal. And um, a couple of YouTubers, I haven't seen anyone use the Sprocket for their project life so this is going to be an experiment for me i did want to get the sprocket because i pretty much um i didn't want to keep going every single day or every week or so to walgreens to pick up photos and i'm the type of person where and that's another reason why the project life app uh, was so taunting to me because I had to wait for my prints to come from Persepity after I uh, made them in the app um, because I really don't have a printer at home with the same kind of quality. So anyway, I'll take a sip right now. Um, so here we go. It's the plus and it looks like it's, it's already charged. And it's already on. I don't know if you guys can see that little button. But it looks like it's pretty much ready to go. And it has like, it comes with some little plastic, um, like covering on it. I try to keep that on as much as possible, but I don't think so. I'm going to have to take it off in order to load it. Um, first off, it tells you that the uh, Sprocket, it gives you the Apple Store and the Google Play. So this is for Android. Google Play is Android um, phones and stuff, so you'll be able to use it with your Android. Um, you can just go to um, hpsprocket.com and use this little... Um, what are these things called? The scans. The little scans. The scans called. QR codes. QR codes. The Q, this is QR code. So, and then um, two, um, it wants you, oh, so I do have to take the, I pretty much have to take the plastic off so that I can lift it up to load the photo paper so let's go ahead now the plus the photos in the for the original sprocket is supposed to be like a two by three i want to say but the plus the photos are supposed to be 30 percent larger so that's why I got the plus. I wanted to get close enough to that three point, um, the three, four as pop, you know, the closest as possible. So it says slide up. So I just did my thumb like this to move it up and then open, open the top here. Okay. I'm going to open the top and they give you one pack of 10. Um, photo paper. Now you can get um, 
a, like a 20. These are zinc, zero ink papers. You can get a 20. Um, it's two 10 packs. You can get those off of Amazon for like $9.99. Uh, one pack, I think, um, they don't sell it one pack on Amazon. You know, with Amazon, is more like you get more for your money if you get bulk. So, let's put this down here real quick. And then um, I'll open this up and let's see. Another cool thing is, and you guys probably saw this on Amy Tan's as well, these photo paper pages, the photo paper is like a sticker. So it has sticky back photo paper. These are 2.3 by 3.4. And like I said before, I think the originals are um, 2 by 3. So this is supposed to be 30% bigger. And so... You have, um, according to this photo here, we have to place the orange piece down. So I put the orange piece down, and then we put the nice little thingy back on, like the top. I call it thingy, and it and it's very simple. It slides on and off like that. So it was pretty simple, like my thumbs can move it on and off. And then it also has the cord here that we can use. And then you just plug it up here. And this is just to power it, I think because this goes with whatever power source we have, like all of the cubes and stuff, it'll go with the cube. Now, let's go ahead and do, I'll be right back, I'm gonna get my iPhone and we're gonna do like the um, Bluetooth part of it, okay? So now that I have my iPhone, I'm gonna go over to, um, the um i um the app store and then i'm gonna look up the hp sprocket there it goes and let's see if i have to do plus probably not it's probably just going to be the same yeah so it's pretty much the same you don't have to do plus it's just the um hp sprocket app and then i'm gonna do get of course, I have to do my thumb to say that I want to get it. And then we're just going to wait for it to download. And so that's downloading. I should have downloaded the app before the video. I didn't think about it. Okay, now I'm gonna open it up. And it has like, welcome. And then it says, let's go ahead and connect. And you know, you have to use the, what is it? You have to accept all of the default and the data collection settings and the HP, um, privacy settings and I'm like yes let's go so this is where it oh I hope you guys can see that so now I'm on the screen where it asked me which sprocket I have they have a sprocket which is the original and then they have a sprocket two in one which is a camera and a printer and then they have the sprocket plus so I'm going to choose sprocket plus and I've already loaded my paper so now next um charge and power on so mine is already powered on so apparently it was charged i'm assuming and now it's saying to connect um the printer so i'm going to connect the printer it's asking me to select the accessories so before i do oh select the accessories i had to wait for it for my bluetooth to find it so there it is bluetooth 
on so now it's saying that printer connected done enable full sprocket the full experience so it wants a uh, camera access photo gallery location notification let's go do I want to allow it to see my camera? Yes, of course. Um, do I want to allow it to see my photos? Yes, of course. Um, allow Sprocket to access your location while you're using the app? Yes, while I'm using the app. Uh, would you like to send you notifications? No, not really. I don't want it to send me anything. Okay, so now the Sprocket printer um, firmware is coming up like upgrade it. you can upgrade it and write to view uh, social sources so you can capture I can capture a photo and it says capture a photo and scan I can pinch and zoom so it's just walking me through everything now, in your camera roll, you can select photos. This is of, you guys just seen that. That's of my little cousin that was just born. And that's what the photo, um, now, now the good question is, how does it look with the Collect app? Because I haven't seen anyone use it with the Collect app before. So, that would be a good question. This is a Collect app um, photo. So I'm going to go and I'm going to actually select a collect app photo that I have um, that I have on here where I have like journaling under it because last week I didn't do any journaling. So I'm going to select one where I actually have some journaling on there and let's see what that how it turns out. Here we go. Um, this one has quite a few journaling on there from um Six Flags, when everybody went to Six Flags. So let's see what that one looks like. It says edit. I don't want to edit. And then I think this is the go. Now it's sending it to the Sprite. It's going to send it to the little printer here. And it makes a little noise. Okay, the... Little security paper is coming out first. And again, you only get 10. You only get 10 in the packet, but in Design F, that is like, if you do Design F for one week, that's two, four, six, eight. Mainly we use about like four or eight photos, so one pack. So I'm just gonna take this out, and this is just a smart sheet. Sorry about that, guys. I actually had a um, a phone call in between there. So anyway, it stopped the uh, pretty much just stopped the camera. So anyway, back we already printed out our um, printed out the smart sheet and I also um when it stopped it print the smart sheet and then it printed the um this was the collect app photo that I had chose the quality of it it turned out pretty well I of course I have to play um with the settings to get it the exact um brightness that it is on the phone but I'm sure that's within um, the menu as well and we can look at the menu uh, really quickly once I print another one so you guys can see um, how it printed out so 
Uh, before we were rudely interrupted, let's go ahead and print this one. This one doesn't have a border on it. I'm going to choose a little bit more with some. Okay, this one right here doesn't have a border on it. So I'm just going to press paper print. tray. Oh, and then it went away. And then it says new features, print your HP sprocket printer from your favorite creative apps. Okay, so I can use my apps and it's showing my Dropbox, my iCloud, and I can just turn on the sprocket features and, and more in the menu. So here we go. It's printing out. And then we're gonna check really quick like the sizing with our um, three by four cards. These are the cards I printed yesterday. Just a couple from the Amy Tan that I printed yesterday. So let's see what it looks like. There we go. And then here we go, I'm gonna put it on this one. So yeah, they actually fit on the three by four cards very nicely. I'm happy with it, very excited about it. And then uh, look at this one, that's really cute too. I can cattle corner it to get the um, to get the flowers in the photo. So yeah, I'm super excited about, it. <laughs> super, super, super excited about this, to add this into my project life. I love that. And the quality of it, it does look like my phone. It's just a little bit darker but it's still great quality. So let's go in there really quick and look at the um, menu settings. And then I'm just going to basically, I'm going to close this and then exit out of here. Right now it is in my camera roll. And then you hit these little menu lines. I call it menu lines. And then even on here, you can even see your battery life for your sprocket. So if I click on sprocket, it's going to give me the app um options and things like that what i can the app settings i should say um then the printer itself i have seven percent battery life so it wasn't fully charged it was just um on it i mean through shipping and it gives you all of the settings of the sprocket then here in the inbox hp will send you specials and tips on how to use it um, also down here, it gives you the option to sign into all of your social media and it has your camera roll there and you can also print from your social media sites, um, Instagram, Facebook, and Google. You can buy paper on here and you can also have help and um, how to use it. Here is where I'm going to be at um, probably for the rest of today. I don't know if you guys can see that. Try to focus it in. Um, printing quality and tips. That's what I'll play with first on the help, how to use it. That's what I'll be playing with first, but it has support on there, help guide, user guide, you know, manual, things like that for the whole sprocket. So, um, like I said before, I'm pretty excited. Um, I can't wait to incorporate it into my project life. It looks like it's gonna just do just fine. The photos are the perfect size. Um, I can use it with my Collect app as well. That's what this is right here. I don't know if I would uh, because I'm kind of bored with the Collect app right now, but I have the option to do so because it still fits and it has the date on there and it also has, um, you know, the photo and the journaling. So that's still an option as well too. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you guys have any questions, just leave some comments below and you guys have a good day. Enjoy your rest of your day and the rest of your week, actually. I'll see you guys on Friday for another process video and also stay tuned for hip kit and also studio calico june kit so you guys have a good day